All right. What's going on, Sith friends? Darth Kimchi here. Next off of the roster review list, we've got Selt. He said there's no meaning to his in-game name. He said it's just something that he just came up with that sounded cool, but not too cheesy. All right, buddy, look at the guild. Classy Rust. So he's in Chromium 3. We know this is where the game changes. You gotta have four fleets. It is still fun. Now, it's not too early for you to prepare for Kyber. That's what I'm trying to do, is just get people prepared. Uh, what I would do is, if you have the time, research how to take out Executor. I'm just so busy, I don't even do that, but just prepare yourself for that. Build some kind of fleet to take out Executor. What you need to do, like a two shot, or what you can do. All right, let's go back to the front wall. So we're gonna get into his fleet first, rank number 124. All right, well, you, know, you guys know we always wanna see capital ships. You know, what does he have in Chromium? So he said his current fleet grind is uh, bugs and the droid ships. He just unlocked malevolence. I see that very nice at five stars. And he's currently getting slowly, getting that slowly farmed. He said the hardest ship is probably the Rebel Y-Wing as of now. We all know fleet is a nasty grind just because we're trying to focus on our characters so much. So good job, buddy. R8 uh, Kenobi. Uh, I gotta have, um, I like Chimera. You know, home one is great as well. All right, let's keep going down to the regular ships. Just a quick overview. All right, a lot of Galactic Republic, so I always recommend Negotiator. Hans, Winnie, and Falcon, that's a pain. Hounds, too. All right, it's got some first order ships. Okay, great job. Get Finalizer. I know Finalizer right here from great people in my Discord can take out Executor, so good job there. He's probably going for SLKR. All right, he's got the bugs. All right, just brief little overview showing what he has. All the pilot's efforts, bro. You gotta get them all, man. Just prepare yourself. Keep work on that fleet as much as you can. All right, back to the main wall. He's got that Padme squad. Let's get in there and take a look, guys. All right, galactic power, four million. So I'm at like 4.6, but I like rushed myself. I was probably at like 4.3 and really started pushing my, because of course, you gotta build more squads and more squads and more squads, bro. All right, so his current squad right here says SLKR. Yeah, it's one of the most characters that he's closest to the requirements than any other GL. Definitely go that way. Don't let anything stop you. You're closest to it, go for it. You gotta get that Galactic Legend. He said the hardest tune grind was definitely gas. Yes, bro, man. So I can't wait to go live, guys. It's coming soon. I wanna hear that stress coming from people because I didn't hoard to get one, man. It took me forever. So he just unlocked him and spent countless hours trying to use the least amount of resources possible. See, this is why I can't wait to talk to people. I love the Star Wars Galaxy Heroes community and I wanna talk about stuff like this in my shows. All right, question number four, guys. I feel like gear is definitely the bane of all SWGOH's players' existence. Can we all give a huge sit bump to that? I wanna see how many people comment below about that. You know, gear, that's all I'm doing right now is farming gear, it just sucks. All right, number five. What would you tell somebody entering your level of Chromium? He said core teams, core teams, core teams, all capital letters. I love that, so I love to read these DMs. He says also a huge emphasis on fleets. See, he already knows, because I'm way behind. Me too, bro, I, my fleet's not as good, and I am playing, paying the price for it in GAC. Yeah, man, I think the new matchmaking is terrible. Uh, don't worry, buddy, just thanks for playing, man. I love Star Wars Galaxy Heroes, all right. So let's go through the quick overview of the roster. Then you guys know we're starting to add Grand Arena. He sent me screenshots of his defense. So I want to get, I want everyone to give him tips. You know what we could do to help him out of anything he needs. All right. So first off, at four million galactic power. So of course, you know he doesn't have a galactic legend. I didn't have one either. I only have General Master Kenobi. I don't have Cat. So he's kind of like terrible without her. But in his top 10, you know, he's got some good characters. General Grievous is great. R7 is what he needs to be. General Kobe R8 for sure. Do you have all six dotted mods? Perfect. Okay, you've got him at good health, protection chunk. If you're running with Padme, you want more health. Uh, let's see. You know, that's a good General Kenobi. All six dotted mods, great for negotiator. Good job there. All right, General Grievous R7. I don't have him all six dotted either. Let's take a look. 145,000 health, very nice. All right, you don't want less than a 145. Okay, speed, I try to get as much as I can. Potency, I had to, I had to switch to a potency cross to land days on a Jedi Master Kenobi and a, no, no, a JML squad and a Sith Eternal squad. 
that potency is going to be very important. I would think about that. All right, but you know, we all know the damage doesn't count. So I had to put a potency right here with health percentage in the secondary with speed because you've got to land target lock when he does his grievous wounds. Just look out for that in the future. All right, everything else. I, I see people put critical damage here. If you can get no less than 145, yeah, it's totally fine. But look at the secondary. He's got health. Potency is fantastic. You want to get as much potency as you possibly can. You know, not too early. I know you gotta, you're got you preparing right now for Chrome. You know, you got, for, you got a Rhodium coming. But General Grievous, he will switch the offense for Sip Eternal, GML squads. All right, you got Darth Revan. Good job there. Uh, Vader, Jedi Knight Revan. He's got Padme. He's got CLS. He's like me. You know, we all, we, uh, I went the core. You know, core teams, core teams, core teams. Like he says, I totally agree. All right, we're just going to look through a brief overview. Then we'll look at speed. Okay, got your Shock T, your Anakin, mine's only R6. Okay, Palpatine, Darth Malak, very nice. That definitely should be your next relic. I would R9 Darth Malak, that is disgusting. So at four million, I mean, well, he's in Chromium, but he has four million like power, so he, he does have the Omicron, so yeah, you definitely should have that. Dartrea, Darsion, I'm telling you, man. I had that squad just on the left of my roster, just every single time, bugs, every time. Everyone keeps using bugs on defense. As long as they do, Treya Scion's easy. Good job. There's that baby gas right there, General. Look, we'll look at him so we don't pass him up. All right. Good job with the two defense, four offense. Very nice. He's now a meat shield. Thick, thick, thick shake. You know what I'm talking about. Protection. I know you're working on it. Man, I had... Man, I know your pain, bro. I had a five-star gas, six-star gas for such a long, long time. In his mods... You want, like I said, you want to look for that offense percentage you can't get in the primary. You want to look for as much protection as you can get, as much defense as you can get. You, know, you want to shoot for at least 125,000 protection, no less than 60% defense, uh, no less than 8,500 uh, 8, damage. He'll get nasty. I'm telling you, man, gas is amazing. Great job with that unlock. I know everyone's super happy to get gas. He'll immediately elevate you. So great job there, man. Uh, I think your immediate uh, must be right now is Malik and General Skywalker. Darth Maul, such a great looking tune, but it's just ho horse trash in the game. Oh, dude. He's got the first order Type 5 pilot Omicron. Do a spin. That's awesome. I have yet to face him with SLKR because I, I, I slay um, SLKR so easily with my JKR squad. That is a game changer right there. While in Grand Arena, first order TIE Fighter pilot has 100% change to gain foresight. All allies gain 50% max health. Whenever an ally has advantage, they have 50% critical damage and plus 100 speed. Wow, don't they start off with advantage, right? Oh my goodness, yeah, that's gonna be, oh, that's gonna be terrible. I won't be able to do that. Good job there, bro. That's a great Omicron, all right. Got Brood, definitely want a gear 12, gear 13. Don't be soloed by Vader. Do not be soloed by Vader. All right. Uh, Moff Gideon, we'll check your top five speed here in a second. Oh, Grand Animal Thrawn. All right, let's go back to the top. All right, man, so let's check some speed before we look at his Grand Arena. All right, so in your top 10, you've got Rex, Padme, Shock T in your top five. Darth Revan, great job. Darth Revan should probably be your first or your second. Rex is where he needs to be. Is he Jedi Knight Revan? All right, let's check some of the speed. Let's see Rex. 299, not bad at all for being in Chromium. Uh, just work on that, you know, through your secondaries, work on it because he needs the faster the Rex. Usually, you should be facing nasty gas mirror matches very soon once your gas is done being a baby and he wakes up, you know what I mean? You're gonna face gas, gas, mirror match. Keep focusing on Rex. Every level I've had to make the Rex faster and faster. Padme, I've had her fast, like 317, 320. But now that I have the Qui Gon Jinn Omicron, I don't have JKA, Jedi Anakin with Padme anymore. You know what I mean? I have JMK, so I don't have um, Snips with her anymore. So I've broken my Padme up squad. 284, you know, that's good. You know, that's not too bad. Right? That's too bad. That's great right there. You wanna have all health, of course. Yeah, he knows. All right, offense, I don't use it for damage. I, I like all health. Padme R5 is great. Just get more health on her. Sorry, I didn't even pay attention to the health. All right, 67,000. Yeah. Um, am I not paying attention? Health, I'll just six dot that. Change that to health. Yeah, she'd be fine. But let me know, what are you using Padme with? 
because you have the Qui-Gon Jinn Omicron. So you got Shock T at 281. So yeah, keep working on mods. So guys, um, his mod quality is 1.57. His top 80 MQ is 2.07. So Celt, if you don't know, that's based off of the mods that you have equipped. And mods that are at 15 speed or more definitely help out with your mod quality. So you, right now, all I can say is just keep working on the speed. You know, Darth Revan, Let's see, you got him at 281. So even before um, the Zam Wessel Omicron, I could use my Bounty Hunters with only a Relic uh, Bosk to take out your Darth Revan. He could have a million damage. Uh, just keep working on speed mods, man. I, that's one thing I can recommend, is work on mods, mods, mods. I use that core, core, core. Mods, mods, mods. Bosk, you got him at 275, not bad. I'd work on that Zam Wessel Omicron. Okay, you got CLS at 274 yeah I mean that's what I said buddy just keep working on your mods all right okay let's go look at just a couple of factions what he's built up okay definitely prepare them remember fives is a second meatball echo and art trooper are your main damage dealers gas is now just a meat shield when he sits down echo and art trooper will go to work all right, Bad Batch, you don't have them. You're, you're already in Chromium at 4 million galactic power. It's a lot of Chirotex, a lot. But I do use Bad Batch every Grand Arena. They're so, I only have uh, Hunter 7 stars. I have Echo at probably like gear 10 or something. Uh, not even 7 stars and they can take out what they outspeed. Uh, you know, some, be careful you use, but you know, that's a lot of Chirotex, man. You've got other stuff to work on. Zam Wessel Omicron, for sure. Work on Zam Wessel. I only had a Bellic Boss. At your level of Chromium, you should be able to take out all Darth Revans easily. Well, I'm not saying all, because my buddy Excellence is always my mind. But telling you, they're amazing. You got Mandalorian, you got Grief Karga. I've got a video out there on how their turn order works with them. You know, I break down their uh, mods and their stats. I would go find that video, buddy, but they're amazing. And, to me, it's a must-have build because you only need a Relic Boss. And you have Mando, you've got Grief Karga, you got Zam Wessel 7 stars. That would be immediate work on. Malik, your gas, and this Bounty Hunter squad. Because they don't need much, you know what I mean? Uh, Alright, let's keep going. Joy Clunch, we don't worry about. Empire. So in Chromium, you guys know I love Darth Vader. This is my guy right here. Man, did you see in Kenobi? Oh my, I don't want to give any spoilers away, but oh. I hope people were thinking of me like, oh man, it's Darth Vader. You know what I mean? So, anyway, all right, anyways, okay. So, speed, good job. Keep the speed, keep the potency. Remember, he will be used to take out Galactic Legend Ray. All right, let's see here. 224 speed, okay, we'll have to look at some secondaries. Potency, great job, 100%, mine's over 100%. Great job there. Damage 6,000. Okay, we'll look through secondaries. I have speed as well, but I have like 7,700. Um, it's definitely through relics and then through um, secondary speed. So here, you want office percentage, potency, speed, if you can get it. I don't care about the primary. Potency, great. If that tenacity was offense, you got potency, offense percentage, great job, crit chance. Ah, there's just no speed. Ooh. Yeah, he needs it. I mean, right now, it's fine. Good job, good, good job on the offense there. But you want to get him to no less than like 2... Eight, I mean, mine's like 286. I want him to be like two ninety, no less than 295. Um, that would be great, you know. All right, good job there, Palpatine. All right, so you didn't have Grand Animal Thrawn in your top 10. Where's he at? 161. Grand Animal Thrawn, to me, in Chromium, like... Before the Galactic Legend, to me, was just like king. You know, he, he was awesome. I mean, you can fracture your opponent's best tune or pass the Terminator to start the party. I had, I don't have Darth Vader and Darth Malak, so I used Bastashan with my Darth Vader. And I mean, I would pass Terminator to Bastashan Fallen. She would get that party started with the D-Bus. That was my most fun squad that I would ever use in Chromium. I would love to know that too, guys. If you guys are watching this part, comment down below. What was the most fun squad Everyone used in Chromium. Mine was Vader Lead, uh, Grand Admiral Thrawn, Moff Gideon, uh, Bastashan Fallen, and Wat Tambor. I used to love that squad. It was amazing. It was so much fun. All right. 
Item Versus Omicron is awesome. You know, you still got so much to work on. All right, let's keep going. Uh, don't sleep on imps. You know, imp, work on imps slowly. They're actually a really good squad. I'm building them now for Sith Eternal. And you really only need, you know, Veers, Stark, and uh, Piet. You know, those three do very well. All right, let's keep going. All right, let's go look at, you know, Ewoks. I saw you put them on defense. All right, he, ha he has them on his defensive wall. So with without log rate. So I have Nest. Be careful with Nest. Do not put your Ewoks on defense. If your opponent has a Nest, I would easily take them out for, for great banners. My log ray has like 170% potency, so I can land days on Nest. So that's the only problem. If your opponent has a Nest, watch out. All right, and of course, you know, Wampa Omicron. Let's go look at First Order. All right, but he also have shows on how to, you know, take out SLKR pretty easy with my JKR and JKL. It's a great squad. Good job, man. That Omicron, that's gonna be a jank game changer, bro. That's awesome, man. Keep going, buddy. Keep going. You're almost there, man. Can we all just say, like, <laughs> GL tickets, buddy? Oh, look at your pain. Uh, all I can say for your, uh, your GL grind, I hope you are scavenging pieces. You know, um, light side 1C, 1D, normal. I would farm as much as you can because that first scaver, uh, scavenger piece, the Carbonite Circuit Board, bro, oh man, that's going to drive you nuts. So I hope you're also doing that as well. You're building scavenger pieces, you know, uh, and you're you're gathering signal data. Oh, I got a show later coming up tonight about, you know, what I do on a daily thing. It's my great buddy Pancake recommended that kind of show. I'm going to do that tonight when my thing refreshes show you the nastiness that goes on with capital games all right galactic republic of course is a huge faction you know pad made lead was so great early on you know r8 general Kirby's great i'm gonna r9 him hopefully if my guild wins this territory battle we've been losing so many times it takes me like i get like one brain every time but i'm gonna r9 general Kirby, or i'm thinking about r9 fives i'm not sure i like my gas squad better i was thinking about r9 jkl but his stats at r9 are terrible all right, let's keep going. Sorry, guys. I'm telling you, live shows are coming soon. If you guys are here, if you're hearing this part, it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be so cool. Mace Windu Omicron. Sorry, I don't have time to read that stuff, but let's see. Uh, this is that right here. Okay, well, territory. Okay, I don't want to. It's territory wars, but good job there. I see something about speed. Uh, okay, good job there, man. I mean, helping out your guild. I don't have any uh, guild. Uh, Omicrons. I know my great buddy Lady Sabine has a bunch of them. Alright. Ooh, you got Conehead? Man, work on him, dude. With uh, Qui-Gon Jin lead and Anakin and Kaida Mundi, that to me is an amazing offensive squad. They get 60 speed. My Anakin's nasty. Even, uh, mine's only at like, f I think, four stars or five stars, but I have like the, as much gear as I can possibly get on him. I'm telling you, it, it's a great squad. He's great. Alright, let's go to, like I said, Genosians. They're good. They get a Watan board shard. They're great, but just don't be soloed by Vader. All right, let's go look at. I want to get to the Grand Arena Wall here in a second. So, guys, as I'm going through these factions, you know, this is what my shows are for to just to help out the Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes community. If you guys have any tips, definitely put it down below. You know, you'll see some great people out there putting comments down below. So, definitely, if I miss anything, that's what the comment section is for, guys. All right, Imperial Troopers. Jedi is another great, great faction. All right, so you got Jedi Knight Revan, you got Grandmaster Yoda, you got Shock T, Anakin, Jolie is great. Uh, for he's, to me, is like a big key to a JKR squad. All right, Hermit Yoda, great job there. Okay, very nice. You know, at some point, you know, I know you're far off, but Jedi Knight Luke to me is an amazing tune. All right. I don't care about Night Sisters Mandalorian. I mean, I, I want a Night Sister squad because it's just, they're just a great chess piece on defense. You know, even a not so good Night Sister squad, you know, like Asajj, if Doctor was gear 12 and Tiles was gear 12, I would have to pull my Vader and my Wat Tambor because I can't stand Night Sisters. I know there's a lot of people who feel that way. So I, I guess they're a good squad on defense. You know, a, I wouldn't say a waste of materials because at gear 12, Nobody's pulling garbage to take out a, a, I mean, if you are, you better put something in that comment section or DM me in my Discord, because I can't stand Night Sisters. It always pulls my Vader and my Watt Tambor. So yeah, I would say Night Sisters is a pretty good squad. 
Oh, somebody, this person with this car alarm been going off all the time. My old Republic, I don't even look at that, sorry guys. Rebels, all right, you got CLS. It's a good squad, like that, they're great. But you know, higher you get, man, you just gotta work on them. CLS, you know, R6, you know, doesn't really need to be R7. You know, you got them at 274. This is great for anyone to see a little bit of stats because when we go to this Grand Arena wall, we kinda know what these teams have. Potency, tenacity, you know, try to get as much as you can with both. You got 100% potency, but tenacity, because of Chupio, it's a great squad. Just keep working on it. It is amazing. All right, let's go look at Separatist. I mean, it's like you got the factions, you know, they're you're working on them. I know, buddy, it's so hard to work on so much at one time. Just... Keep in your mind, General Grief is great on defense. He will switch to offense, like a Rhodium 1. You know, what I would say right now, a lot of people have Wampa. If you have a Wampa Omicron like I do, it doesn't care, it doesn't matter what your General Grievous has, how good your General Grievous squad. Wampa solos General Grievous easily. Uh, also in 3v3, could be anything. Uh, definitely just be careful. If your opponent has Wampa, do not put General Grievous on defense. All right, he's great for offense. Sith, we're checking for Treya and Scion. I don't use Nihilus, but for fun. You know, Treya, Scion, like I said, you have so much to work on. You gotta, you just gotta build the appropriate chess pieces. You know, it's, no one's building like Savage with Darth Sidious lead and, you know, uh, Sith Empire Trooper, you know what I mean? Everyone's building the same exact things. So it just comes down, like I said, it's why I always call it a chess match. You know, just kind of build the appropriate stuff. And you got the good squads, just you got to finish them off. All right, let's see. That's kind of about it. All right, guys, let's go to the random the wall. I'm going to pause and bring up the wall. I'll be right back. All right, we're back. So this is pinned inside my Grand Arena chat room by good buddy Ryarp. So if you're wanting, if you guys ever need to know, like you know what walls are what, so he hasn't updated it since um, the new six uh, fleets. But right now we're in three v three. That's the bottom section here. So he's in Chromium. So you need a total of ten squads. So the layout from um, the back top to the front down to the back is two, three, three, four. Wow, so that's what, threes, ten, 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 that's 20 squads. I forgot, I'm, I'm, I'm in Kyber. 20 squads. All right, let's go to his message. This is an amazing Discord, guys. If anyone loves Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, you should be in here. All right, let's do, all right, right here. Okay, guys, so this is his top three, so, I think this is so cool to see everyone's Grand Arena walls. I can't wait to see my great buddy like Nemesis, you know, uh, Oliver Short. Like, I want to see uh, them put nasty G. Like, okay, so they're probably like, wish they could face walls like this. All right, so Chromium is good old Chromium. So anyone that's watching these shows that are early, early gamers, you always want to have something to take out CLS, Darth Revan, Kylo Ren Unmasked is always on defense. Always, always, always until they get SOKR, then he switches to him. So I used to use Padme to take out SOK, I mean, crew like butter. Like it was so easy. Like just, I could put it on, I mean, well, probably not on auto, but it was just so easy. Darth Revan, this is why I say Gas is a must have squad. Gas slays all Darth Revan squads. Now, in 3v3, it, it, it could be a little nasty. Very rarely people like make their Darth Revan and Darth Revan like nasty, like, you know, R7, R8. I can't remember if I, last time I seen an R8 Darth Revan, but Darth Malak, people are r 9 him now because of Arnold. So Gas takes them out pretty easily. CLS squad, everybody knows CLS is disgusting. I can't scan CLS. So of course CLS with uh, C3PO and Chupio is also nasty. They hold the line for me in 3v3. Somebody please let me know in the comment section what are they using to take out CLS, C3PO, and Chupio? They hold the line for me, and they hold the line for my opponent. Because I put so much on defense, I don't have a counter for it. But I saw Arnold use Thrawn lead with Moff Gideon and Shore Trooper. It's ridiculous. He kept fracturing CLS. But remember, guys, always have counters for these two squads. They are always on defense. CLS, Darth Revan, Darth Balak, Bastion Fallen. And then crew, always. All right, so cool to see that, guys. Let's go next to the next wall. 
All right, so let's go look at his bottom front for three. So this is great as well. Good job, man. Uh -huh. It's so cool to see people grand arena walls. I love this. I want to thank everyone again that's in my Discord that gave me all those great tips and great advice. That's awesome. Thank you guys so much. So Qui-Gon Jinn Omicron and Chromium, I'm pretty sure it is what everyone has right now, right? Um, with Anakin, for sure. All three, Galactic Republic gets nasty. Gets that 100% extra damage. So to me, I like to have Qui-Gon Jinn for all offense. I don't care what, what his speed is. I want offense on the cross, offense on the triangle, offense on the arrow, offense on the square, maxed out. Mine's like 6,100 or 6,200 uh, physical damage that he transfers. My special's over 10,000. And then Anakin gets pretty nasty. I'm gonna R7, probably R8 Anakin, depending on what the stats look like. Just because the Qui-Gon Jinn Omicron is nasty now with Mace Windu, Mace Windu taunts. Like, this is a nasty squad. Good job there. Next, Old Republic. Oh, man. This is what I'm telling you. This is why, this is why I did not go for Darth Vader and Darth Malak. You know, I don't want to talk about that. The show will get on too long. I know some great people out there who know my story, but Old Republic was always on defense. I couldn't stand it. So I did not go for Darth Vader and Darth Malak. I want to make things different. All right, buddy. So be careful. Bad Batch, Max Banners. Like, three stars, like, Chicken Bone Bad Batch will, you know, take them out easily. Max Banners, be careful of that if your opponent does have that. A weak Bad Batch squad. Uh, the next squad, very good as well. You know, Lando lead. Any lead that gives speed is always decent. And it also gives critical damage. You know, Ak Akbar lead would be great too, but Akbar, I think his lead, like, if you use another ability that's not like a, an attack, someone else assists, but these guys, they all attack. Their, their second uh, special is attacks, AOE, uh, call to assist. So it's a nice, nasty little squad. You know, it's hitting you hard. It's hitting you hard quickly. All right, let's go to the next wall. So like I said, guys, any tips? You know, what do you guys, if you're in Chromium, how would you attack this? Like, what would you use? That way, this is great. This would be great for Celt. So he can, you know, maybe get tips off of that. You know, what should you do? What should you not do? So what are you guys using against Old Republic? You know, what would you use against this squad right here? All right, let's go take a look at the next squad here. All right, back wall. So this is back wall. So like I said, buddy, be, just be careful with Ewoks. If your opponent has Ness, you know, Wampa, Omicron. Um, sometimes people use, you know, Malik separately to solo, things like that. Just be careful, man. That's a good, uh, that's a good squad. I had the Omicron on it as well. I just recommend, um, who is that guy? Logre? <laughs> who is that guy? Logre. All right. Um, General Grievous lives on defense and Chromium. He's a major chess piece. Um, definitely good job there. Uh, B1, man, he's great. I relic him. I might R7, R8 him. Get him fast because I'm preparing my squad to take out JMLs. You know, Sith Eternal is pretty easy, but JMLs get a little tough. All right. Let's go look at his, uh, what is this? This is his back wall. Okay, very nice. All right, I'm, I'm actually using, <laughs> don't laugh, I'm using uh, Grievous uh, B2 and uh, IG-88 on a back wall or on offense to take something out just because I, like I said, I'm a Kyber dude. What I do is totally different what you're doing. Uh, see, a second person, I think my great buddy, um, we just reviewed, my brain's killing me. Oh man, I want to think of that. Who is just, uh, uh, Bar 54, I think he puts Darth Trey on defense as well. That's different, man. I love Trey and Scion. I said I've had them on the left side of my roster, every single level to take out bugs. Like if they had gear 11 bugs with one gear 12, I'd use Trey as solo. I started adding Scion just because it would just the match would just go on forever and it would just be boring. So I added Scion, and they're amazing. Everyone puts bugs on defense. Everyone does. All right. So let's look at his strategy. So we'll look at his ships before we talk about strategy. Oh, right here. So you said ships. I don't have a set strategy for my offense. The only thing I focus on is getting a one shot, for sure. In Chromium, you know, just having to use two, two or two squads to take out a set, you know, or a one squad could cost you the game. So good job there. He says I try to use SWGOH.GG as much as, as possible. Man, I don't use SWGOH.GG at all. I've used it one time, and he did something totally different. I lost. I kind of think it's cheating. Like, I think it's just you know, weird to see 
what person's putting already. Like I like to use my own experience with what I'm doing. Like if I lose, I lose, you know, but I kind of like do my own thing. But hey man, to each their own. A lot of people use that a lot. No knock on that. Good job. It, it helps you win. You know, if I did use it, I probably would win uh, a lot more than what I do. All right, he said for defenses, I got heavy top front, front, front because I have a weak ship defense, and I tried to lure them into the back wall where hopefully my General Grievous can stop them. See, that's pretty cool, man. In Chromium, you know, just to hear this kind of stuff, and so I'm telling you guys, my live shows are coming probably less than three weeks. Um, I'm going to have shows like this to talk to people. I think it's cool just to hear and read things like this. All right, I kind of just waved to him. That's kind of about it, guys. So let's see if we can go back to his roster. Back at the top, you know, that Sith. All right. 30 minutes, actually not too bad. It's like I said, man, you kind of did what I did, buddy. You know, we went core, 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 core. I've preached that all through Chromium. You know, only in Chromium 3, you know, just try to achieve that Galactic Legend by Chromium 1. The only tips I can say for Kyber, buddy, is it's the land of Galactic Legends. When you get into Kyber 5 or 4, you're just going to face people who are falling down, who have weak rosters, or people like me who've climbed up. So all I can say is, man, just work on your squads. You know, like I said, it's just a chess match. Make sure you know what takes out what. Build what you don't have to take out that, you know what I mean? Um, try to achieve at least no less than two Galactic Legends by the time you reach like K4, you know, K5. You know what I mean? You know, work on the teams that can take out Galactic Legends. You know, if you have time to research how to take out Executor, you know, if you can research, you know, how to beat Galactic Legends with non-Galactic Legends, that would be pretty helpful. And anyone from the Star Wars Galaxy Heroes community, you guys know, definitely comment, com comment below. We're all here to help each other grow. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this show, last that like button. Keep on sipping. Until next time, DK signing out.